So um, I, I know that <clears throat> for us, we talk to, you know, hundreds of entrepreneurs a year. Um, and we kind of have a rough idea of what momentum is. But I find that when I was on the entrepreneurial side, you know, I always thought that I had momentum and I always knew that I needed capital for my company. And so how would you, can you give me a, like three examples of what you think momentum looks like and what momentum does not look like to sure. people? Yeah, I mean, this is a classic question. When I was doing my seed investing, mm -hmm. you know, one of my big pitches was, look, you know, you can see me as many times as you want. I have to see you once a quarter. When I think you're ready to raise a Series A, I'm going to help. I'm going to get you to the right people. But it's when I think you're ready, not when you think you're ready. And so they would usually ask, well, what does that look like? Now, unfortunately, the real answer is like the Supreme Court ruling on porn. I don't know it, but I'll know it when I see it. You mm -hmm. know, it's an almost impossible to define thing because the bar ever changes. Mm. There's, I'm going to answer the question, but I'm also going to bring up a really interesting new trend I've noticed over the last year, year and a half. It's the advent of a new type of second seed. Mm. See, in the old days, I used to always say, I don't do second seeds. I will fund you. And if it doesn't work, I don't want you to give me my money back. If there's leftovers, I want you to keep trying. Mm -hmm. If you spend all the money and it doesn't work, I don't want to hear why. Just a few more dollars will make it all good. What I've learned is that now there's a different type of second seed. That is where a company has achieved enough such that it would have been able to raise a Series A from a classic institution a year ago, 18 months ago, 24 months ago. So think about SaaS. In the old days, SaaS, million dollars of ARR in under 18 months, seemed like a pretty classic sweet spot. And now nobody cares. Really? So opportunities like that have become an opportunity for a second seed where, okay, you know what? You did hit the target. Unfortunately, the target moved way down range over the last two years. But you've shown me a lot. How about not a full Series A, but maybe this is a time where someone layers on another one, two or three million to continue the ramp to get to the golden paradise number that they need, whatever that might be. Uh, you know, I've seen enterprise SaaS companies with $2 million of uh, mm -hmm. the RR where we've done a, a Series A. Um, obviously, the more, the better. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when it's a non-revenue focused opportunity, like when you're doing a mobile app, as an example, although there's not as many new things happening there, um, the user base and the growth, you know, how much and how fast. I think that the thing about venture Venture is highly addicted to velocity. Hmm. That, that speed of ascent is paramount. Now, having said that, when someone says, I've grown a thousand percent, it's like, mm -hmm. great. So you had a dollar and now you, you know, like, if your baseline is still tiny at the end, it doesn't matter. But when you start to get into some real numbers, and I do feel like once you break through a million, you're starting to get to talk about real numbers. I'm not convinced that's enough in a lot of industries to, to fund. Hmm. The other thing, though, about, about the, the flip side of velocity, venture loves velocity and venture hates friction, whatever slows you down. So if you think about SaaS as an example, not that Steve mm -hmm. and I focus an enormous amount of time on, the faster you get to the number, the better. And the mm -hmm. longer you take to get there, the higher the rest of it is not a big enough number, and all of a sudden the bar goes down. So, you know, there's, there's so many different types of businesses, though. It's very, very rare that a business has found uh, – sort of the, the momentum they need purely off of technology, as an example. I think this is a classic mistake a lot of entrepreneurs make. Mm -hmm. There are some industries where that's the case. You know, look at sort of autonomous driving or things related to that or some robotics. Um, but generally, building the tech isn't usually the thesis you need to prove with your seed money. And, mm -hmm. and that's what's so If I've seen mistakes made by entrepreneurs that went on and hit targets and didn't fund, it's because they set the wrong targets. Mm -hmm. It's because they proved a thesis that wasn't necessarily a fundable thesis. Hmm. It was too an audience or, or whatever else. So, you know, I do encourage entrepreneurs to really think about, you're not going to build your company off your seed round. You're just going to mm -hmm. prove a thesis. So make sure that's a thesis that people are going to be willing to fund if you prove it. Otherwise, it's sort of awkward.